Today on the channel from WWE Basics Series 143, we got two All-American boys in John Cena and Cody Rhodes. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another WWE Mattel Basics unboxing and review and today on the channel we're back at it with Basics Series 143 John Cena and Cody Rhodes but for all your basic needs make sure you end up bringing side collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% gotta get a deal out there and John Cena Cody Rhodes yins and yangs of good guys of the history of WWE of course, you go back to like the Bruno San Martino days, then into Hulk Hogan. Don't forget that Ultimate Warrior. You get the Stone Colds and the Rocks. Then, of course, the John Cena era. And then we've kind of been in the Roman Reigns era, I guess. And now, are we on the uh, edge of a lightning bolt with the Cody Rhodes era? We'll see who's going to be the face of the company. No doubt about it, John Cena was for a long time. Could Cody Rhodes finally be the face of the company going forward? Two all might meet baby faces right here at the table, and we're going to dive into it just like we always do. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. We got our old friend John Cena. You know John Cena. Kyle Peterson, who is known in some circles as the Larry Bird of sports entertainment figurine collecting. Well, this is John Cena, a.k.a. John Cena, who is known in some circles as the John Stocks of the fashion. The shorts get shorter all the time. It's just two really good friends of the channel here with John Cena. And then, of course, a longtime friend, good He-Man brother, Cody Rhodes. It's just a friendship table, a friendship party, friendship forever. That's what we got going on here today. We're going to start John Cena. We're going to go with the older guy first. That's only fair. It's only fair, Cody. And now I'm talking to Cody like I'm talking to Todd on the couch, and Todd's laughing. It's a belly laugher over there. He's slapping those knees as well. Oh, put your shoes on. Put your socks on, Todd. Uh, there it is, old John Cena looking good right here. And I, normally I would pass on a John Cena basic, except a little bit of new bells and whistles this one. Wanted to see with the new articulation, the new shirt, and the new hat, how this all ends up going down. But WWE logo, John Cena on the side, of course. On the back, we got the cross sell. We got Mr. T. We unboxed the regular and chase Mr. T. Check out those videos on the channel. We got Becky Lynch. We got Ashante the Adonis on here. We unboxed him as well. And Cody we got right here. Jibber jabber down low. Nothing else going on. It does say John Cena, uh, 143. He's a powerhouse. Nothing else. Doesn't say anything about it. He's just a straight up powerhouse. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison looking good. Old John Cena doing John Cena things. See you later. Goodbye. All right, now we got old John Cena out of the package, and he's full of respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Like, uh, wasn't that Aretha Franklin said that once upon a time? He's got that going on really good, but it does say respect or hustle loyalty respect on his hat. But he's got his black hat. Hat is not removable. That's the cool thing. It's sculpted in there. Have to imagine we'll see this in the future a little bit more, possibly. We'll see what ends up happening there. It is interesting, though, with the hat on. Uh, and I don't know if you can reuse this. I guess you can reuse this. You use the same John Cena head. You just paint the color of the hat, and bam, you got a new head on John Cena. But it looks like John Cena, an older John Cena. And, of course, with the hat going on, it looks very interesting. Now, he does got the shirt there, 20 years. WrestleMania, never give up is what he says. Nothing on the back either. Never give up armband. Uh, the armband is removable. I didn't think it was, but that is removable there. You got black painted on the arm, so it does make it look a little mismatched with the shirt. I do like that they kind of gave us a shirt with out giving us a shirt if that makes sense uh the shirt is not removable even though it has a big line down the middle it is not removable uh but all black attack now we do got the painted on forearms right here you can't see me the usual john cena stuff and what else to say hlr on here as well so he's got all kinds of hustled hustle loyalty respect as we know never give up john never given up he's never given up the jorts either he's got those rocking he's got the black knee pads down to the black shoes Looking pretty good. Of course, arms do go all the way around for us. No bicep cut, of course. Single jointed elbows, side to side as well. Hands all around. Of course, hands removable. Head removable, back, forth, side to side. So you could pull this hat, or this head, I should say, off this Cena figure, 
put it on a different Cena figure if that's what you want to do. You do get waist articulation. You get those big old Cena splits. He's known for him. He's known for his balance beam work, as we do know. Leg goes up. Bend at the knee, maybe. Oh, my gosh. Is there a tighter knee in the universe? I don't think there is. We do get a boot cut, ankle cut, shoe cut, I guess, is what we got going on here. So we do have that. Now, he does got some deformed hands. He's got the you-can't-see-me hands, but they're just totally messed up. It's like he got his finger caught in the lawnmower or something. I don't know what's going on there. Going to have to get a little heat, straighten these bad boys out. But it is cool to get an open hand. Is this the first time we ever got an open hand with a basic? I think that is pretty cool. You got the gripping hand over here. And as I always say, if you got tons of hands of your elites, you can always pop these out, change them up, mix them around. Do what you want to do. Choose your own adventure. That's what you can do. And does he fit on a ringside collectible Mattel stand? What do you know? Fits like a glove, old John Cena. You can't see him uh, all day long. That's uh, what they'll say. But John Cena looking pretty good right there. But now we turn our attention to, once again, good friend of the channel, Cody Rhodes. Old Cody. Shout out to Cody for those tickets to Raw not too long ago for my family. Showed us a good time, old Cody Rhodes. Very, very nice of him. Good supporter of the channel as well, as we do know. So, Cody, I'm rocking on. I'm getting all your figures, Cody. And it's a pain. It's a pain to get your figures because you got a lot of basics. you got a lot of figures. How many Cody's do I need? We'll see. We'll find out when uh, the dust settles and things are all said and done. We've got Cody looking only like a Cody could look if he was in the basic line once again. Cody Rhodes looking good. WWE logo on the back. Cody Rhodes. We've got the cross sell on the back. Same cross sell we talked about with Cena. Same jibber jabber. Does say American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes signature move. The old crossroads. And he is our grappler. He's grappling. He's sitting there to grapple away. That's what Cody's going to do. He's going to grapple all day long. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic Cody Rhodes prison looking very nice there. Hands go up, bam, see you later, goodbye. And now we got Cody out of the package, and what is old is truly new again. Now this is the same Cody Rose we've seen in the Championship Showdown pack, Top Picks pack, heck, maybe even a regular basic pack, but it's been repainted in the black, red, silver. Looking very good, I like the color change. I'm here for this, you gotta change that stuff up so you can get new figures, we know how that goes. But it is the same Cody body, same exact Cody head. Seen it before, it's a lot like Deja Vu Iron Maiden once again right here. But I do like the color scheme a little bit better. Uh, maybe it feels a little fresher, not being kind of the all-American color scheme. I like the darkness of the black and red attack in here. Of course, you got the same boots there in white. you got the old American Nightmare logo there. Same thing with a tattoo on his neck. He's always going to be a dreamin'. Got the dream tattoo there. Fist of Fury for Cody. We're here for that. Nice uh, taped up fist. And then a gripping hand on this side. Now, articulation can be identical to John Cena. All the usual bells and whistles right there. So... Really, is it that special? Nah, it's not that special of a Cody. Sorry, Cody, I got to calls it like I see it. It's not super, super special right here. It's just another one of those Cody figures out to the masses. You got to have Cody out there for the kids. The kids love the Cody Rhodes. We know how that goes. Heck, I love the Cody Rhodes as well. So you got to have him out between the ultimate lines, the championship showdowns, the top picks, the basics, the elites. We know how it goes. You got to keep him out there at all times. And that's what they're doing here from Mattel. Just like they did with John Cena once upon a time ago. So there it is, two All-American boys and John Cena and Cody Rhodes. What are your guys' thoughts? You picking up these two? You passing on these two? You long gaming these two? What is your plan for these two? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. You made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and my other YouTube channel. we got two channels going, videos, content every single day. Even more content over on Patreon, including early access to all the channel's videos. Bonus monthly Q&As, giveaways, you name it, it's all going on over there. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. And of course, ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson, pick up a t-shirt. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 6 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for John Cena and Cody Rhodes, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.